difference of continental and oceanic lithosphere. In identifying the difference of continental and oceanic lithosphere, we need to learn first the definition of lithosphere. What is lithosphere? Lithosphere is the solid shell of a rocky planet called Earth. That means the crust and the upper part of the mantle which is joined to the crust. Under the lithosphere is the asthenosphere, the weaker, hotter, and deeper part of the upper mantle. The lithosphere is the surface layer of the fluid parts of the Earth's convection system. Therefore, it thickens over time. It is broken up into pieces called plates. which move independently relative to one another. This movement of lithosphere plates is described as plate tectonics. The division of Earth's outer layers into lithosphere and asthenosphere should not be confused with the chemical subdivision of the outer Earth into mantle and crust. All crust is lithosphere, but the lithosphere generally contains more mantle than the crust. Now, we are going to identify the differences of continental and oceanic lithosphere. There are two types of lithosphere. Oceanic lithosphere, which is associated with oceanic crust, and continental lithosphere, which is associated with continental crust. One of their difference is their thickness. Oceanic lithosphere is typically about 50 to 100 kilometers thick, but beneath the mid-ocean ridges is no thicker than the crust. The continental lithosphere is thicker about 150 kilometers. It consists of about 50 kilometers of crust and 100 kilometers or more of the uppermost mantle. And in terms of what crust or rocks they are made of, Oceanic lithosphere consists mainly of massy crust and ultramatic mantle, and is denser than the mantle is associated with crust that is made of felsic rocks. Terms of ages between continental and oceanic lithosphere The crust is distinguished from the upper mantle by the change in chemical composition that takes place at the Maho discontinuity. The oceanic lithosphere thickens as it ages and moves away from the mid-ocean ridge. This thickening occurs by conductive cooling, which converts hot asthenosphere into the lithospheric mantle and causes the oceanic lithosphere to become increasingly dense with age. Lithosphere is less dense than the asthenosphere for a few 10 million years. But after this, they become increasingly denser than a stenosphere. The gravitational instability of the nature oceanic lithosphere has the effect that at subduction zones, the oceanic lithosphere invariably sinks underneath the overriding lithosphere, which can be oceanic or continental. The new oceanic lithosphere is constantly being produced at mid-ocean ridge and is recycled back to the mantle of subduction areas. As a result, the oceanic lithosphere is much younger than continental lithosphere. The oldest oceanic lithosphere is about 170 million years old, while the other parts of continental lithosphere are about billion years old. In terms of density between oceanic and continental lithosphere, Oceanic lithosphere has an average density of 3.0 grams per centimeter, comparatively denser than a continental lithosphere with an average density of 2.7 grams per centimeter.